Okay, so this is our second chapter. We call it as Roots of Equation. Usually, and if we want to calculate roots of a certain equation, we will use this formula here. I hope you still remember your mathematics. So this is a certain function, ax squared plus bx plus c. If we need to calculate the roots of this function, this is what we always use, right? This formula. So we can calculate the value of x for this equation. So roots of equation can also, we call it as the value of x that makes the function equals to 0. So if fx equals to 0, we can work out what is your x1 and what is your x2 for quadratic function. And if it's a linear equation, we only have one value of x. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how we can use numerical methods to also come up with the values of the roots of a certain function without using this tedious equation here. So let's say we have here a function, okay, fx. You can see that this is uh, your fx and this is your x. And this is your function here. And the point that intercepts with the, um, the x-axis is actually the root for this function, which is this one when fx equals to 0. Okay, so this is just illustrations of number of roots for certain function. So for the first part here, for this function, there is no roots at all because your fx is never intersecting with the x-axis. So for the second one, for the second type, you can see that the fx is intersecting with the x-axis and you can find there are two roots here, or we call it as even number of roots, two roots. And for this one, there's only one root and for the fourth cases we have odd number of root so in this case we have one we have two we have three three roots for this function so in numerical methods you're going to learn two types of methods the first one is what we call as bracketing methods the second one we call it as open methods so for the bracketing methods we call it bracketing methods because you need initial guesses in order to calculate the root. And these guesses must be bracketing the root, meaning you have your x1, you have x2. This one you will make initial guesses. And these initial guesses must be bracketing the real root. Uh, the root here. This is the real root. The real root. So that's why we call it as bracketing methods. Your initial guesses. And this is what you want to find out. So it's these guesses are actually bracketing the XR, your final answer. So we have uh, three types. Graphical method. Now this is, we're not going to do any graphical method. I'm sure that all of you knows how to draw a graph using graph paper. And you will find the root um, when you draw the graph let's say the function so you will end up something like this so you know that this is the um, the roots for that equation so this is you got this by drawing a graph we're actually going to talk about bisection method and false position method these two methods here so I will show you in my next video for these two methods. Thank you.